All right, Shalom. Warm. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shalom, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, like out there pushing his word and truth and their sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom warm to the hopefully, like the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scripture through faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah. All right, well, I want to go into all right, real quick, you know, this, going into this evening, you know, is um, a lesson inspired, you know, by a class, you know, that the brothers in Dallas had, you know, and I think it was entitled, you know, how belief, you know, counsels our fear, you know, belief counsels our fear, you know, and I just want to, you know, touch on and respond, you know, to that lesson with how, you know, we have to keep the victory in mind, you know, because as we believe, it's an, it's a, it's important to understand what we believe. You know, we say we believe, but it's important to understand what we believe in the victory. Okay, what is the victory, man? Okay, that this current system is going to fall. All right, at the coming of Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is going to establish a new system. Okay, in righteousness, you know, and that's the victory. Cause see, it's, it's a victory over wickedness. Remember, Yahweh Shai is coming to wage war and righteousness, man. Okay? It's a victory over wickedness, over a wicked rulership. You see? And we have to have hope in that victory in all these circumstances. And you read, the scriptures are already right to us of a victory. <laughs> okay? When we read 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, but thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? Our victory is through Yahweh Shai. Okay? You see in the scriptures, they already proclaim the victory. You see? So we already give thanks to Yahweh Bashim Shai for the victory, but we have to believe that we have to maintain that belief. When Yahweh Shai said, Hold fast to that which thou hast till I come, that was the main thing he was speaking of was to maintain that belief and that victory through him. Okay? And you go to multiple precepts, you know, it speaks victory, man. And that's what we got to continue, you know, to speak on is the, is the victory that's to come, you know. This is Revelation 12 and 7, and it says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels, okay. And Michael, you know, is a representative of the spiritual realm, the armies of heaven, Okay. Which are going to be with Yahweh Shah when he returns. Okay? So this is Yahweh Shah and the spiritual armies of heaven going against, alright, the carnal armies of the earth, the armies of the heathens of the earth. Okay? And the scriptures speak victory in this war. It's going to be an actual war. And the heaven is talking about the Shemayim, the atmosphere, what you can look up and see. Okay? That's what this great war between the spiritual realm, all right, and the armies of the earth are going to take place, man. You see? And we have to hold fast to the, the, the narrative that we have the victory, man, that we prevail, that Yahweh Shai prevails, okay? As the scriptures say, it says, and prevail not, okay? Neither was their place found in heaven anymore, okay? Which means their place in rulership, because when you lose the war, you're removed from power. You are stripped from your authority. Okay, let's read this in the NLT, Revelation 12 and 8. And the dragon lost the battle, and he and his angels was forced. <laughs> all right, was well, like, you know, I ain't going to read that in NLT. He tripping, <laughs> you know. But the point is, says, and the dragon lost the battle. With Osman, the dragon goes to uh, America, EU, and NATO, okay, because they're going to be the head of the heathen militaries, okay, that's going to combat the second return, or the, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, let's go here. Let's get this in Haggai. You know, sometimes NLT a trip. You know, you got to discern the spirit. You know, give you that discernment. You know, this is um, Haggai. Because it said forced out of heaven, but really they, they're going to be forced out their rulership. You know, because... Uh, you know, Christian doctrine is as if, you know, Satan and his angels was cast to the earth. Like, nah, there's Esau, Edom, the adversary, all right, 
the, the, the children of the wicked, the children of Shatan in the earth, cast from, they're going to be forced from rulership, man. Okay? This is Haggai 2 and 22. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms and will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathens. Okay? And will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them. And the horses and their riders shall come down and every one by the sword of their brother. Because this is going to happen in the midst of World War III. So as these heathens are fighting each other, Yahweh Shah is going to enter into this realm. The nukes are going to be shot off. Yahweh Shah is going to appear with the heavenly host, the heavenly armies. All right. And they're going to destroy, okay, the, 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 the military of the heathens, the strength of the heathen. Because the strength of a nation is this military, man. But our strength is coming back. The strength of our nation is going to appear, which is Yahweh Shah, okay, and the heavenly host, okay? And it's proved that. You know, I think it says those exact words in the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. That's the nukes. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength, <laughs> you see, and the strength of the children of Israel and the strength of the children of Israel. So our power is coming to defend his elect, man, you know, and we have to keep a constant mindset on that victory, man, you know, speaking victory, you know, because, yes, this, this, you know, uh, like, like um, Elder Ariala, all right, out of Dallas. You know, he did a video called Captain Negative, man, because it's so easy to get caught up in just pure vexation, you know. But nah, we got to balance the vexation out with victory, man. Speaking of victory, man, you know, when you get into the victory over this beast, man, it, it, upli it uplifts your whole mood. You know, it uplifts your spirit, man, when you really tap into the belief in the victory over this beast, man. It's just a matter of time, man. You know, we have a victory, man. <laughs> you see? This, this place is done. These people are done, man. The Lord finna make a great change in the earth, man. You know? All we can do now within this grace period is just keep gaining more and more favor with our power until it goes down in the earth, man. You know? We're just, we're now we're putting ourselves in the position of mercy, man. That's all we can do at this time. All right? Now, you go here to um, Isaiah. Isaiah. 31 and 5 it says as birds flying so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem okay and it's speaking of, of the elect okay that's the Jerusalem because that's going to be that new Jerusalem that come out those chariots man all right but 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 the Jerusalem now is speaking of the elect man it's going to be def it's going to be defended okay a king all right is one of the king's duties to defend its inhabitants, man. Okay? And that's why we pray that our citizenship is in the heavens, man. <laughs> okay? Is is within the kingdom. You see? But what did you how should I say? The kingdom is within us, man. It's a people before it's a place, man. So one of the duties duties of a king is to defend its inhabitants, man. And how Shah is gonna do that, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, the a standard gonna be lifted like the Lord finna get down, man, and he gonna use, you know, his men, you know, you gonna have some brothers that's gonna be martyrs, that's, that's part of it, man, but the other side, you gonna have brothers with those powers, man, you know, brothers gonna be able to get active out here in the spirit, you know, that's, that's, that's gonna be victory, man, that's going towards the victory, man, and we have to have that constant mindset towards that, man, because the vexation is gonna come by default, man, you know, you get to thinking about society you get to thinking about you know the circumstances you think about our people the conditions and you know just you know you just like god damn you know you think how off things are man how dysfunctional things are man and you know sometimes you know the lord will chasing your mind with those things but then we have the scriptures to pick us back up man we have this victory to come to pick us back up man okay so reading it again it says, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it, man. You know, the Lord is going to preserve his remnant, man. 
Because even those that are martyrs, guess what? The coming of Yahweh Shai, they're going to be resurrected into the chariots. Okay? They're going to be on the chariots first. And they're going to see Yahweh Shai conquering the earth, man. You see, we're part of the elect. Nothing is going to stop us from having front row seats to seeing the uh, uh, Yahweh Shai conquer, all right, the earth and righteousness, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is going to conquer the entire earth and righteousness, man. And death can't even separate us from uh, being a part of that, man. Because, hey, those that die in Yahweh Shai is going to be on the chariots first, man. Front row seats to the destruction of this place, man. To the conquering of wickedness, man. <laughs> you know? And we have to have that, that mindset, man. So there's there's nothing first, you know, and the Lord is already giving us the mindset of conquering now. Cause see, we have nothing to lose here. The Lord is constantly showing us we have nothing to lose here. We have nothing to gain in this world. Okay? That, that's that's out the question, man. You know, we fully locked in, we fully tapped in to what's promised, man. You know, in the kingdom to come. Alright? So let's go here. Yeah, we can end it here. Let's. I won't make it super long. This is um, Isaiah twenty-five and eight. It says, "He will swallow up death, okay, in victory." You see, because Yahweh Shai is coming with what the immortality for the nation. You see. Let me see. We oh, you need some hair. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, uh, maybe I should be able. I got it though. You good with it? I'm, 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 I'm close enough. Okay, okay. I only need one tire. It's, it's at the front. Okay, yeah, I'm about to give mine a chain. I'm just waiting on my jack. Um, appreciate it, man. Yeah, so going back to it. Um, let's finish that off. Isaiah 25 and 8. It says, He will swallow up death and victory. And the Lord will wipe away tears from off all faces and rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for the Lord have spoken it, man. So we're going to have victory over death, victory over chaos and confusion and dysfunction. We're going to have victory over all these things, man. All this going to be swallowed up at the return of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? No more being vexed. You know, by the by the condition and the circumstances that we're in, all that's gonna be swallowed up. It's a, it's gonna be a victory over everything, man. And the Lord, uh, you know, He'll chastise you by, you know, opening you up to certain things and seeing how messed up of a situation we in, you know. And that makes that gives us the edge to want to overcome this, man. To look forward to everything being refreshed and everything being renewed, you know. And it says. Uh, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our power. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation, man. So the thing is, we just got to wait. No matter what the circumstances is, the victory already written. See, what Esau is going to do, he wants, he wants the earth to be faithless. And he for sure wants the elect to lose all hope in the victory that's promised, man. You know? But we in the time, all right, where we have to hold fast, you know, and we have to have a firm grip on the belief of the victory over this. Yeah, yeah, it got a leak in it, come right back out. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put a uh, spare on there, you know, soon. Yep. I guess I'm, I guess I'm lucky in that aspect because yeah. mine is a bit of a slow leak. Yeah. Yeah, I have to air it up every day just to keep up with it, but... Yeah, mine's shooting out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go and just get it plugged tomorrow. I appreciate it, man. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a lot of you, you know? Matter of fact, I have some more precepts since I'm, you know, said that. This is, uh... The book of, uh... the book of St. John chapter 16 alright verse 33 and it said these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world 
You see, in overcoming the world is overcoming this age. And the main thing to overcome is the desire to try to be something, to try to, you know, have some type of accomplishment in this society, man. You know, once we conquer that, like, wanting to be something, the ambition of this world and the cares of this life, man, the rest of the victory, all right, is going to play itself out, man. You know? <laughs> you see? But, that, that, you know, that's the main point. You know, I just want to touch touch on that, man, from that aspect, man. Like, belief in the victory, man. Hold on to that the belief in that victory. We're going to be in circumstances where, you know, we're going to be, you know, uh, we might be in concentration camps. We might be in the wilderness. You know, you might be, you know, in all type of circumstances, man. Separated from family, man. You never know what it's going to be. But at the end of the day, it's a victory. When you have a shot get here, ain't no such thing as lost, man. We, that's because when you have a shot get here, we're going to be restored. And, every, and, and, and we're going to have an eternity to put everything else back in order, man. Okay? We're going to have abundance of time to put things back in order or to gain anything that we uh, lost on this side, man, you know? So it's going to be all type of narratives, all type of circumstances, all type of situations, all type of things catching us off guard just going to be happening, man. But through all the storm, we got to remember to hold on to the faith, all right, of the victory that's already written, that's already promised, man, you know? So Lord will, all right, you were edified, the next time I say shallow one, going out shallow, a Bible, Bible, DJ soon, shallow one.